Well, welcome back, sir. What's your name again? Andrew Prell. Andrew Prell. The convergence of four dimensions, but we're actually getting uh, involved in trying to bring a, a conference here, conference expo and esports tournament here to Vegas. Okay, great. I mean, most people don't know this, but the the um, esports World Cup that's going on right now over in Riyadh. I didn't know that. Well, it was originated to be here, and they put a sixty million dollar prize pool up, so mm -hmm. they took it over there. Um, Makes sense. So some of the people that were putting that together here, you know, wanted to do this, um, and I kind of got involved. This I feel a big void in the industry from E3 mm -hmm. that went on in LA, you know, that that show no longer being around feels to me like it's just a big mm -hmm. gap in my ear, a big void. So I was like, well, if we can merit to a great conference expo to try to fill the void of E3 mm -hmm. with a massive esports component to it um, and bring it to Las Vegas, I think yeah, that's something to get behind. And that's actually what we were at the front end of getting this thing built where um, we believe we're going to acquire, we're trying to get the sphere as the esports arena portion of it. Well, that would be fantastic. Yes, that's like it, it was designed for esports. Yeah, absolutely. So, so we get, capture the sphere for it and then have the conference expo mm -hmm. linked to it. I think that's just a massive, uh, mm -hmm. cool event that we're trying to bring here where the launch kickoff party for the whole thing should be the week before f1 okay then you have effectively eight weeks in there where you can do the online tournament to qualify to the to the big finals mm -hmm. where you'd have you know three days of the you know the like the surviving 32 the sweet 16 mm -hmm. the lead eight yep the, you know final four in the finals mm -hmm. um and have that married to a conference expo the week before uh ces okay very That's cool the concepts um, and it's all coming together right now. So that's I just fantastic. Put it out there that we're shooting really hard. Uh, we've got tight co time constraints to pull it off this year. But worst case, we'll have a massive one next year because okay. everybody's coming together to do it. Well, that's exciting. So let's talk about um, if you're not familiar with E3, let's talk about what the what the conference and the expo portion of this would be. The, to go along with the big oh, gaming it, event. Yeah. Well, it is all about video games, yep. all the different components. So we'll have a job fair there for mm -hmm. people wanting to get into video games and wanting to get into esports. Um, we'll have everybody showing off and hopefully launching their their latest new game okay. there. Mm -hmm. uh, then you'll have the the conference topics talking about all the different uh, uh, things happening in esports or things happening in video games mm -hmm. and graphics. And there's there's a there's a um, large art you know computer art show component that we're looking mm -hmm. to bring in there and I was that'd actually, be really cool i was actually talking to somebody downstairs and there's no reason not to also maybe have a little drone or not a little but a, a, a drone uh, pilot um because there's drone pilots getting into esports yeah as well so maybe have one of those have a, little, have a little some drone competitions that go along exactly. with it exactly it. so it's, fantastic it's uh yeah we've got a clean sheet of paper we know that there was things with uh, E3 that we didn't like that ended mm -hmm. up, you know, kind of some of the infighting in there, but there's a lot of pieces that we love mm -hmm. uh, and we just kind of feel that void. So we want to get, um, you know, get the educators coming out, teaching the new concepts of what's happening in, in game theory and marrying AI into mm -hmm. games. Well, games have kind of had their own artificial intelligence forever. So, mm -hmm. but now with the new, new, uh, uh, you know, large, model engines yeah. and that that they've got um you know that component is really bringing a new new flavor to it mm -hmm. um so just a, a a industry conference an expo showing off all the latest mm -hmm. and greatest of video games and everything around mm -hmm. gaming and esports and uh have the the esports event itself is the is the competition going to be centered around one particular game or? oh no 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 it's 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 centered. I mean, literally the groups that we're talking to, because we're looking, we're, we're actually having several of the major um, esports uh, companies, the ones mm -hmm. that put on these massive tournaments, you know, mm -hmm. vie to get, you know, because having the, the having a two point three billion dollar stage, <laughs> being the sphere, is is a massive thing right there. So they were having them fight to to 
proposed to us what they want to do. And it sounds mm-hmm. like we're talking about bringing together, you know, over a thousand esports teams mm-hmm. that will compete across the whole genre of different games. And then the finals will get to a, an epic, an epic finals. But, okay. Um, and we're talking about using the sphere itself as effectively a, um, a, a featured table, if you will. Just like yeah, the I, World I, Series of Poker. I can I can only imagine, yeah. you know, when you get when you get to those finals and you're going to have eight or ten teams and gamers up on that stage, but so, the real main event is going to be what's going on on the walls of the sphere, both inside and out. Oh yeah, yeah. But I mean, so we're planning on having the sphere over the three days. Yep. But having sessions of each of different matches going yep. on, and in the conference area, we'll have an area set outside so you can have the. It's like the World Series of Poker. Yep, you have absolutely. a feature table that's broadcast to the world, yep. and then you have you know people walking around seeing what what's happening mm-hmm. between the the secondary matches that people can also watch online, mm-hmm. um, that kind of thing. Uh, but you know, having that over several days, it's just this massive, you know, festival of games kind of thing is it what we're doing. Sounds it's, amazing. It's really, yeah. what we want to bring to the entertainment capital of the world. It sounds amazing. Uh, have you talked to the folks at the Sphere about it yet? I, uh, we're I, we're in negotiations yeah. with them as we speak. I can imagine so. their creative teams are kind of salivating at how they can how they can create this event. You can't convince me that the creators of the Sphere didn't do that with esports in mind. Oh, I'm sure they did. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure. I, I mean, uh, to to I I can't even imagine that they. They pigeon the pigeonhole themselves and even saying, these are the things that, that are happening today that we'd like to like. I think the vision is so much bigger for revolutionizing entertainment that that the, like it this esports is just a small subset that fits into the larger vision that they have. But what they have is the ideal esports arena. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's the largest stage in the world. And it's it's meant, you know, if you want to be the, the true I know the World Cup's going on over in in Riyadh right now. Yep. And, a huge prize pool. Yep. Um, you know, if you want to be seen around the world in the coolest environment, the best tech in the world, that sphere. There's, there's I mean, no better. There's I no remember, better platform. I remember when uh, you know we got our new Atari. Mm-hmm. You know, back I did in the, too. And, and and Space Invaders came out. We had a friend that that was a projectionist at the local movie theater. Mm-hmm. He had a, at that time, like a hundred and twenty thousand dollar projector that mm-hmm. was meant. For you know, taking anything he wanted and feeding it up to the, yep. we went connected our Atari to that and played Space Invaders on a you know forty foot screen. It was f- fantastic. Yeah, so this would be the same thing. This is just the ultimate experience yeah, I, in video I'm games. So excited! I'm looking forward to it. And so yeah, we'd like to have you out there. I, yeah. We we will come. We will stream. We will we will do interviews. We will we will uh, we will apply for press credentials and we will be part of it. So now the. Is is there a goal of having one late 2024, like a 2024, 2025 thing happening? Oh, or yeah, yeah. No, I okay, mean, the, so. the, this, we're planning on having the kickoff one. We're trying to, and it's it's a lot of work to try to get done yep. in just a few months, have the actual festival party kickoff mm-hmm. the week before, before Formula F1. One. Okay. Okay. Then you have all the qualifying tournament stuff going on. So that goes they, on all over the world, right? That goes, that goes on between the teams. Yep. That everything's broadcast online, but they can mm-hmm. do it from their yep. from their um, you know studios or where their main yep. they can link across and and compete to get in, uh, and then bringing everybody together for whoever's the surviving ones when you get down to that last sixty four yeah. thirty two whatever, bringing them here for those three days to work up to the to the final yeah, event. And it's, a, and it's a perfect time to do it because it's kind of. Kind of dead time in Las Vegas. There's plenty of hotel rooms. There's plenty of well, it's the week before CES. Before CES, right? yeah. So, so right after New Year's, right after New Year's and before CES Mayhem, we've got a slot in there. Nice little slot build. there to come in and do do 64 team tournament. Uh, yeah. So like people can come for New Year's Eve and stay a week, or people can come a week early for CES. Yep. Either way. <laughs> Either way. Either way. It sounds exciting. Yeah. What else do we need to know about it? Where should we be? Where should we be looking for this and, well, just and, uh, keep in mind, and planting our flag so we get the updates? It's right now 4E Games, which nothing's live. Nothing. Well, okay. I mean, the 4E Games, 4E dot games mm-hmm. is actually live, but it's not telling anything right okay. now, other than maybe maybe a uh, teaser video that is premature. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's okay. But uh, it's going fast and furious, and we've got a really good set of, of people putting it together at this point. Um, some of the top consultants 
in the industry have joined into it. So we'll see if we can pull it off. Well, we are wishing you the best and we are excited about finding some way to participate and be part of it with you. So, so sounds it's awesome. four E games go, go bookmark it, even though there's nothing there, but no, no, you four E games, you can actually go to that website, yep. but uh, the website is just, yeah, just a little bit of placeholder graphics. So right just now. go, go hold the place now more to come. Sir, it was great to have you back. Well, thank you. We'll see you. Thanks for joining us.